everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Is the Dollar Tree cardstock good enough to make a box, even if you don't reinforce it? Let's find out. Y'all, welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new subscribers and to all of my new friends. Welcome back to all of my longtime subscribers and longtime friends. Thank you guys so much for being so positive and so supportive of me and my channel. I really do appreciate it. So today we're going to test out the Dollar Tree cardstock to see if we can make a box that doesn't require reinforcement. And we'll see how well it actually performs when we're making the box and if this will hold up. I made this box I think is so stinking cute and this is the box that we're going to be making today. So I am going to give you a closer look at this particular box in just a minute. But before I do, I wanted to show you this. If you join me tomorrow at 4 p.m., I am going to show you how to take a gift bag and turn it into a beautiful paper purse. That's exactly what I have done here. This started out as a gift bag. So all I did to the actual gift bag was made one strategic cut. And once we make that one cut, we're able to make a paper purse like this one. So tomorrow at 4 p.m., I'll show you exactly how to make this. All right, y'all, so here is a closer look at this awesome little box that I made using the Dollar Tree cardstock, and I added some decorative pieces to the top. These decorative pieces are not needed for this box to be functional. The cardstock actually worked well for some of the more lighter weight boxes that we would make. This box will hold candles, it can hold candies, it can hold soaps. So I am going to undo the crinkle seam binding bow and open this box so that you can see the design of the box. So it's an all-in-one flip top closable and I'll show you how easy that is to make. So you can see that the sides just fold in and that is how we close the box. So when finished, the box measures five and a half, three inches deep, two and a quarter inches high. So to make it, we are going to need one piece of 10 by 12 cardstock and I'm using that Dollar Tree cardstock. Then I have some pieces that I'm going to put on the front and on the top. I have one piece and this piece measures two and three quarters by five and a quarter. I have two pieces that measure two by five and a quarter. And I have two pieces that measure two and three quarters by two. Again, these pieces are going to be decorative because this box without these pieces will still be fully functional. Easy peasy Friday craft. Let's get started. With Mother's Day fast approaching, this is a great way to honor anyone who is nurturing anyone else in any way. So we have our 10 by 12 inch piece. On the 10 inch side, we're going to score at two and a quarter. We're going to rotate it to the opposite 10 inch side and score at two and a quarter. We're going to turn it to the 12 inch side and we're going to score at two and a quarter, at five and a quarter, at seven and a half, and at ten and a half. And then we're just going to fold and burnish all of our scores. So fold and burnish on all of our scores. And then when we have this narrow flap, we're going to remove the end pieces all together. So I am just taking away these end pieces. All right, y'all, so now that we have these two pieces removed, we are not going to cut here at this one, but let's move to this line and cut and then cut here to free this tab. So you're going to have this one big piece here. 
and we'll do the same thing over here so let's cut and let's cut to free this and so now your piece is going to look like this on these two ends here we're just going to angle in a little bit because that's going to make it easier for us to put the box together and I am going to put this box together with tape so when we have boxes like this I don't mind using tape but if this box was carrying any weight I would use glue on it and putting it together but my tape runner will hold for this alright y'all so now that you have your piece like this I'm going to show you the trick to getting this fold so we're going to take these two wide pieces here and all you have to do is take it and start pinching in at the corner so you're going to pinch in just like this you're going to make sure that the edges meet and then you can turn it over and you'll see that's how it looks on the inside take your fingernail or bone folder and just crease so that's the look that you're going to have we'll do it on this side so if you just hold the middle piece take this piece and just start bending it in like this it'll naturally want to bend and then we're just going to bring it up until we match the two lines we can turn it over so there is the inside and I'll just take my finger and crease that and that is all that you do It's one of those steps that you might have to practice a couple of times but once you get it y'all it's very easy so now I'm going to take my finger blade and all I'm going to do at this point is I don't want to do anything with the piece that joins next to the side piece but here in the corner I am going to angle in just a little bit because I don't need that bulk in my way so you can see I angled in on the end where I removed those end pieces so hopefully this is not confusing this is a very simple box to make this is all that we need to do to this box now so we are going to take our pieces and just place them down like this I'm not going to place a piece there because that's the bottom but if you want some additional reinforcement that's totally up to you you can cut out another piece that measures two and three quarters by five and a quarter to place here I'm not doing that because I really don't need it so I'm going to take my tape runner we're going to place some tape on this piece And I'm just going to place it down trying to get it as straight as possible then I'll take this piece and y'all if that um, folding technique is confusing to you at all just watch that part of the video a couple of times until it's basically second nature it is not a hard process to do it all so I am going to add my tape and we'll take this piece and place it right there then we take these two pieces and we place them right there so when I initially tried the Dollar Tree cardstock I did not think I would be able to use it without reinforcing the bottom but that's actually not the case on this type of box I don't need to reinforce that bottom because I found that it actually holds up well and there's that one so now that we have our box like this we're going to put it together and the way we're going to put it together is we're going to take these pieces here and join them to this piece so we'll do that first 
and I'm doing it with tape. And I'm just going to add a little bit of tape here. Bring this up. Make sure I have those edges nice and tight. Go in and get that stuck. We're going to do the same thing here. We'll put tape on this piece. And then I'll add just a little bit of tape here. Join it, getting that edge nice and tight. Then we're going to take this piece and when we place tape, we're only going to place tape on this part. So I'll take my tape runner, go ahead and add my tape. Y'all, if you want to use glue for this, you can. It is your project and you can use whatever works for you. So then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing over here. Add that tape. Then I'm going to sneak in just a little bit of tape right there on the inside. We're going to take this and match it. Again, making sure everything is nice and tight. Take this piece, put it on the inside. Match those corners. Make sure everything is nice and tight. And the key to the success of this box is making sure that this piece is the last piece that you adhere and you adhere it on the inside of the box. So now we can just take this, pinch in, and fold in like that. All right, y'all, so there's our nice little box. The secret to putting this box together and making sure that it folds properly is this part here needs to be the last part that you glue or tape down. And when you glue and tape it down, you can see that I have it on the inside. So it's the last part I put in and I made sure that I put it on the inside. So that makes it possible for you to be able to fold in here, take that lid and place it inside and not have a box where the sides are pulling in because if you take this piece and you glue it to the outer part, it's going to force in everything as you try to close it. It's going to squeeze it in. So putting it together in the way that I just showed you, it's going to give you a very beautiful box like this. So now all I'm going to do to this one, I am going to take some crinkle seam binding and tie myself a little bow. like that and then I'll cut off the excess and so now I have another beautiful five and a half by three by two and a quarter inch box this is really a nice size box for some of those little gifts and trinkets that you might want to give so very easy y'all I made it using Dollar Tree cardstock I had my doubts that I would be able to make a box without reinforcing the base but this proved me wrong. So go ahead and feel free to take that Dollar Tree cardstock and make boxes that will carry some of the more lighter weight things. If you are making a box that you expect to carry some weight, of course you want to reinforce the bottom of that box, but I'm okay with this just as it is. So I hope that you have enjoyed this beautiful way to make wonderful little boxes for any season, any reason, any one. If you have enjoyed this craft, and I certainly hope that you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.